three pass and this morning we're back with the Uper goddess showing us how to make a sweet treat today. So listen close. Ansley Watson is there to tell us more. Good morning, Ansley. <laughs> Good morning, Vicki. That's right, sitting right beneath my nose, and it looks so, so good. We're making a, what would you even call it, Lori? A well, I call it raspberry swirl. Swirl? Yeah. How I've would you describe it? Kind of ice creamy, real creamy. <laughs> Just so good. I mean, It's if, not like a pie, though, is it? No, it's it's more like a frozen dessert. Okay. And I think you could put it in any pan you want, but, yeah. you know. Yeah. If if you like ice cream, you're gonna love this dessert. And it's really, <laughs> I love ice cream. We're, we're having a beat fest here because we have to beat a lot of things this morning. <laughs> Do we have some anger to beat out or something? Is yeah. That what if this is if for? you wake up one day and you're like in a beating mood, make this. <laughs> okay, good to know. So stay with us about that. Better. Yeah. Reporting <laughs> live at Ishpeming, Ansley Watson, TV6 News. All right. Thank you very much, ladies. So apparently, it's not just learning how to bake. It's also, you know, emotional release, too. So yeah, you got to get it out some way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, for it's another so morning with the Uper Goddess this morning, learning how to make a raspberry dessert. So Ansley Watson is in the kitchen with her this morning to tell us more about how we go about doing that. Good morning, Ansley. Good morning, Vicki. I don't even know how to describe this dessert, <laughs> but I just know it's amazing because it's, it's like ice cream. And, and you love ice cream. <laughs> There's nothing That's better. That's one thing I know about you. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. So this dessert, it doesn't really have that many ingredients. It has eggs, whipped cream, cream cheese. So what you're going to do is you have to whip everything. See how we whipped okay. our cream? We whipped our egg whites. Then there, is and there anything in this or is it just cream and just egg whites? Um, we can talk about how to do this. Um, okay. You know, when you do your egg whites, you want a little bit of cream of tartar in there. It helps stabilize your, your egg whites after they're whipped. Mm -hmm. um, if you get any yolk in there, they won't whip. Really? No, it, it's really hard to whip them if you get some yolk in your whites. So okay. you don't want to do that. And your cream, you want your bowl cold. I had this bowl in the refrigerator. You want your cream cold. And when you whip it, you want to put powdered sugar because it just regular sugar. Like, say, if I put this in the fridge for a couple hours and I went to use it, it could fall. Why? Do you know? I don't know. Huh. It, but powdered so sugar, sugar, not regular. Yeah, powder. it's just okay. lighter. So um, this recipe has eight ounces of cream cheese and a cup of sugar. And you're going to beat the daylights out of that. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to beat that while we're, when we come back, we're going to show how to put this all together. Okay, okay. Um, you beat this till it's like pale. It turns into like a real pale yellow okay. color. Does, is it going to be whippy like the, the egg whites are? Yeah, it'll get okay. really creamy. And um, you want to whip it enough because if you don't, the sugar, you want the sugar to dissolve in there. Because sometimes sugar will stay like, granules uh -huh. and you don't want it like that you want it to be really smooth okay. so this will get really light and smooth yeah yeah and then what you do we're gonna like fold everything together mm -hmm. and know. we're kind of mentioning how this does have raw eggs in it it does and um, do you think that that's a problem at all or? well how often do we let our kids lick our bowl after we're yeah. done making no, cookies I do. <laughs> I mean, I've eaten more cookie dough than anybody, and I've never gotten sick. And if you're leery about it, you can buy organic eggs mm -hmm. if that makes you feel better. But just inspect your egg. You know, if it's, if it's got an odor to it, you wouldn't want to use it. Right. Um, I, I just, I don't <laughs> think you, and I don't know if even freezing it might do something. Oh, if, if sure. You know, I, I, I've never gotten sick so eating. So we, we just keep eating it then? We do. So why not? Yeah. <laughs> why not? Yeah. Life's too short. Yeah. To worry about getting salmonella. salmonella. Yeah, and <laughs> it's very uncommon. I mean, I've read many stories where people are like, I've eaten like over 300 times raw eggs, and I've never gotten sick. Just, so yeah, up yeah. to your judgment. I and guess. our crust here is just a graham cracker crust. Mm -hmm. um, this recipe is going to be on the website, and the, the amounts in the recipe is for an eight by eight okay. pan. And a lot of times I've doubled it into a nine by 13, so you double all these ingredients. Um, you know, you use a 10 ounce thing of raspberries, which I could only find a 12 ounce, and I mm -hmm. thought, what the heck? <laughs> did you, how did you? I put them in a Ninja and oh. pulverized them, and I left a few chunks in there say, too. I was it looks pretty smooth looking. Yeah. That looks good. So you, you only cook this for, you know, eight minutes. And like I told you, you think, oh, I should cook it a little bit longer. Don't do it. No, you look and it'll be burnt. And you don't want it like, no. Torched because no. then you can taste that. And you that. said you made this a little bit thicker. 
Yeah, you don't want it too it's thick, about a quarter inch. Yeah, you know, you, you don't want, want it too thin either. You want to be able to get it out of there and hold you your. You want some crust on that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so when we come back, we're gonna put it together and. Okay, <laughs> I'm so excited. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. be so good. So good. Yeah. Reporting live in Ishpeming, Ansley Watson, TV6 News. All right. Thank you very much, ladies. It looks delicious. We can hardly <laughs> wait to try it <laughs> as we get ready for the Welcome day. Welcome back. Well, we're learning how to make a raspberry dessert this morning with you for goddess. Ansley Watson joins us in the kitchen to tell us a little bit more about it. And Ansley, I hear it's very good. Oh. <laughs> It is very good, Sam. Good one. Ah. This morning, Donnie was actually trying to describe it for us. It's kind of like an ice cream cake slash cheesecake yeah, thing. Yeah, So it's called raspberry swirl. That's what <laughs> Lori calls it. Yep. And so we we're kind of, we're going to mix it all together. Yeah, we're going to have you brush the crust with the raspberries. So we have a graham cracker crust. Yep. What you want to do first is you're going to fold your egg whites into your cream. And when you fold, you want to do it gently, like from under and over, really gently, because you don't want to break down your all your fluffiness you got oh, from so everything. Stirring will break that down. Then. Yeah, you don't want to stir it. And when you put this in the pan, you know who cares if you have streaks? Because look at how pretty it I just know. makes it look pretty. So you're gonna dump this into your egg mixture. And then you're going to fold this. And what was in that egg mixture again? We have three egg yolks, a cup of sugar, and a little bit of salt, a quart, uh, eighth teaspoon, and um, eight ounces of cream cheese. Okay, and you just mixed it all together. You could, look at how creamy it is. You can just see how, how cool it, it beat up really nice. So you're not going to put any raspberries in this mixture okay. because you're going to layer it. So what we're going to do right. is we're going to dump part of this in here. Mm. Okay. And there's no baking involved with this. Nope. You're just going to freeze it. So you're going to spread that around a little with that brush. Ooh, it's like painting. And now we're going to... Raspberry gonna art. Oh, yum. So you can kind of take this even. Oh, you wow. You know, and go like this. Oh, check that out. See how pretty? Yeah. So that's the first nice. layer. Okay. Then we're going to dump the rest of it in here. Look at this. Oh, my God. How long does it take to freeze? I would freeze it overnight. Oh, really? And you want to take it out about an hour to an hour and a half before you're going to serve it. Because if not, what, you need an axe to cut it? Yeah. <laughs> a saw? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. It would be so hard. be hard as a rock. <laughs> yeah. So we're just going to dump this on. And then you can swirl it with that butter knife. Swirl away. Oh, and I've got to say, we have sampled it already. I don't mind we sampling have. it again. But it was so, <laughs> it's, it's so good, hey? So you good. You can go deep, just. Okay. And do we do this with other kinds of fruits? Or do you just prefer um, the raspberry? Well, raspberry, I think, is real good in it. But I've made it with blueberries and strawberries together. Oh, how'd that turn and out? And it was, it was delicious. You know, you can get artistic on the top there. I was going to say, I wonder if I could do some kind of design. I got a shout out to my girl at Jubilee. Oh, yeah? Paula's getting a piece of this tomorrow <laughs> after it freezes. <laughs> Yum. But, um, Lucky her. We, uh, you know our Julie collection, our Sisu? Yeah. Um, we actually have it at Touch of Finland. Oh, really? So I know if you've seen it on our Facebook page, if you want to physically, like, go look at it. Uh -huh. You know, Jackie B, got, we got it down at Touch of Finland, so you can run in there and take a look at it. How fun is that? Yeah. Look is at that it. that good? That looks good to me. That looks good. And then it turns out looking like this. Yeah, Dean's going to be happy this <laughs> week. <laughs> you said this is his favorite dessert. It is. He loves and, it. Um, after today, I don't know, this may be one of my favorite desserts. <laughs> mm. Yeah, and look at the crust. You know, you don't want it super thick. Mm -hmm. You know, the recipe is going to be on youpergoddess.com. Go to my Facebook page and... Like oh it because we always post these videos. This is dangerous. Why do you do this to me? This is dangerous. <laughs> it's so good. Well, one piece won't hurt you, right? Yeah. yeah. That's right. Moderation. <laughs> uh, oh, you know, I just, it's addicting. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're eating and it's like, oh, it's so good. I it can't is. stop eating it. But it's not difficult. I would say probably maybe the main thing is just knowing how long to whip your eggs and. Yeah, and you can. You know, it, it's easy to do that. Yeah. Just like I, I explained, yeah. you know, what to put in there. And, you know, there's different tricks to it. And the more you do it, the easier it gets, of course, right? Of course. Well, Lori, thank you. This You're is welcome. so good. 
So yummy. I can't even describe how good it is. You just need to make it for yourself. Yeah, you need to make it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Reporting live in news from me, Ansley Watson, and we'll be back with more of your Keep TV smiling. 6 morning news after the break. Mm -hmm.